Karen Midthumb is suing her late cousin's widower, Dylan Staley, for unpaid payments on a car. Miss Midthumb, Mr. Staley was married to a cousin of yours. Yes. A young woman. They married when they were very young. They had a child. Sadly, shortly after they were married, your cousin was diagnosed with a fatal disease, and she passed away shortly thereafter. She was only 19 or 20 at the time. Yes. Now, this case is about a car. It's about a car that somehow you got involved with purchasing with them. You were the co-signer, probably on a loan, because they were too young and had no money and couldn't get credit. Is that right? Yes. Okay. After your cousin died, Mr. Staley remained in possession of the car, and he was making payments on the car for a period of time and taking care of his child, a boy or a girl. Boy. And then in April of last year, I think, he stopped making payments on the car. You took possession of the car? No. He actually dropped it at the bank before they repossessed it. And he had discussed with you that he was going to drop it off at the bank? Not until that night. He discussed with you that he was dropping it off at the bank. After he already had dropped it off. Okay, because he couldn't make the payments anymore. And he had made the payments up until that time. Is that right? Yes. And you were the primary on the loan, or was he the primary and you were the secondary? I co-signed. I had originally co-signed for Jacqueline, and then after she passed, I co-signed for him. So you turned in the car. You was the co-signer of the car. Say that the bank then sold the car at auction, and there was a deficit. Do you work? Yes. Who do you work for? Swice Bifolds. How long have you worked for them? I've been there about seven months. Well, he's the primary on the loan. They'll attach his salary for any deficit that there is. They'll attach his salary. Well, they had repossessed it, and they said that I, for, for my credit rating, because it looked like I defaulted on it, I paid it off. Well, that's problematic. They would have attached his salary, right? Of course, right? Right. Well, they started coming after me, and I don't well, need that. Yeah. Did they come after you for the no, they did deficiency? Not. No, no. You mean they didn't come after the primary? They went after the person who co-signed? Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Well, that's ridiculous. I'd like to see the communications that you got. These are the default papers that I received. What kind of car was this? It was a 2007... Buick. Buick. Mm -hmm. There's a picture of it in the back of the file. No, I don't need a picture of it. How long did you have the car, Mr. Staley? A little over two years. This is your new girlfriend? Yes. Do you have another car now? We have a 07, it's a 2003 Ford F-150, and I have a motorcycle. So you have two modes of transportation? Yes. Well, then why did you stick her with this car? Because at the time, we, didn't have, we had the kids, so we kept a bigger vehicle, so when we traveled. No, you got the bigger vehicle. You turned this one into the bank, and you got a bigger vehicle. Yes. Well, that's outrageous, don't you think so? No. But you had an obligation for this car. This notice came to the two of you. What's your address? Boulevard. Is that where you're living now? Yes. And what's your address, Miss Mithune? How far away are they from each other? Mile and a half, maybe. Well, you clearly received this notice from the bank, sir, because it came to you at Boulevard. It came to you. You just ignored it? Yes. OK, I got it. The documents that you provided me shows me that you arranged a payment plan with the bank. Yes. That over the course of eight months, you did, in fact, pay off the full amount of the money, $5,444. Yes, Mr. Staley clearly has no excuse for it. He wanted a newer car. He got a new girlfriend. He has a motorcycle. He figured this is an old car. What's the point in keeping this old car if I can have a different car? Uh, I got it. Charge him for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000. We're finished.